So now that you've got your separate horns layer, you want to control G to create a group. And then we're going to work on our full image first before we start editing the horns. Select your bottom layer and add an adjustment layer. We're going to add color lookup. In the properties panel, go to 3D L and choose moonlight. Once that is added, it's only going to add to the background of your image and not the deer itself. Now, while you've still got that layer mask selected, add another adjustment layer and this time we're going to add black and white. The only thing we're going to do now is we're going to play around with the opacity and you can lower it until you're happy with the effect. I'm going to put mine pretty low because I want that greyish look to it. Removing some of that background color is going to really make your deer stand out a bit more, especially when we add the glow effect. Okay, so let's move on to the fun part and start creating our glow. So you're going to open your group and click on the horn layer. Then you're going to turn that into a smart object and you're going to duplicate it. Then you want to put your top layer on linear dodge. And this is already going to add kind of a glowy effect to it. Once you're done with that, go to filter Choose Blur, Gaussian Blur, and then set the radius to 5%. This is going to help soften the image a bit and break up those harsh lines. So after we've done that, we're going to duplicate that entire layer again. And you're going to double click on the effect and we're going to turn that radius up to 100%. We're going to continue this process two more times. The next one, we're going to put the radius on 250. And after that, we're going to put it on 500. You don't really want to go any higher than that, otherwise it's going to add some harsh lines to your photo. When you're finished, you can collapse your layer and then click on the visibility icon to see what it looks like before and after. And you can see, we already have a pretty good glow effect so far, but we're not quite done yet. <laughs> 